Nobody knows the future like its own drivers. The Global High Schools category honors youth who have accepted the challenge and have decided to take matters into their own hands. The project proposed by the Manhattan Comprehensive Night and Day School aims to reduce carbon emissions by more than 20% over one and a half years through the use of renewable energy, conservation, education and outreach. Our goal is to reduce carbon emissions by 20% in our school and one way we'll be doing that is by placing a photovoltaic system on our rooftop. As well as our photovoltaic system, we would have a kiosk system that would allow our teachers, faculties and students to monitor our real-time data through an interactive screen. We're applying for the prize basically because we want to show that solar can be installed on a New York City public school. It can serve as an example for other schools and for politicians to actually take actions and fund solar on all public buildings. The future for me is that we are showing students that solar and renewable energy should be the expectation and not the exception to energy production. Sheikh Zai, also known as Baba Zai, not only he and I share the same name, but also we share the passion for the environment. If my school wins this prize, I'm very sure that all the knowledge I know during the project, I'm going to take that back to my country. I don't want to add to the problem. I want to solve the problem. The Colegio Franklin Delano Roosevelt in Peru plans to install a thermal water heating system as well as establish a green fund to encourage future initiatives. The project that Valeria and I put together was essentially the implementation of a thermal water heating system to help heat up our swimming pool's water. The project is estimated to save an amount of gas equivalent to $25,000. The school is also planning on creating a green revolving fund. The money left would be allocated into the creation of this green fund, which will in the future fund further initiatives. Our entry into the Zayed Future Energy Prize concerns having our school work as a model for the South American region. Uh, there's a need for environmental leadership within this region. We want to prove the economic and environmental responsibility of those initiatives so that other schools may follow. The Bronx Design and Construction Academy in the U.S. plans to build an energy environment research center with the aim of generating electricity and providing a cutting-edge center for renewable energy education. We entered the Zayed Future Energy Prize to create an energy environment research center here in front of our school, which the school will build. It consists of wind turbine, photovoltaics, with the addition of a hydroponic system that's modular, so we're able to take it out, take it in school, use it as a learning device. The Energy Environment Research Center will be designed by students, built by students, and then maintained by students. We are the contractors. If we are fortunate enough to win the Zayed Future Energy Prize, I myself will be project manager, and this is going to affect my life a whole lot because you can't get that experience anywhere else. Sheikh Zayed was an inspiration for me because he had a foot in the past, he, he was in the present, and he had a foot in the future. Sheikh Zayed, to me, was a big inspiration because of the, the vision he embodied of creating a sustainable world. Queen Elizabeth II High School in the Isle of Man aims to install a wind turbine to supplement its biomass boilers. The school plans to replace up to one-third of its existing energy consumption with biomass and wind energy. Merhaba, merhaban bikum fi Queen Elizabeth II High School. The Zayed Future Energy Prize would, if our school is successful, grant us up to $100,000 to invest in a new wind turbine biomass boiler system, showing the long-lasting and far-reaching effects of the truly extraordinary extent of Sheikh Zayed's commitment to sustainability on a global scale. All of our projects are driven by the children and without their leadership we wouldn't be where we are. We're doing real work in the community such as making paper briquettes for the elderly in our local area. Obviously we're planning to have the wind turbine, we already have the semi-biomass boiler system incorporated to move forwards towards a more sustainable future.
The Gheorghe Roșca Codrianu National College in Romania is situated in a 19th century listed building. They plan to install LED lights and solar panels to reduce its electricity usage and drive the school towards a more sustainable future. Our high school is one of the, of the oldest high schools in the country. It was founded in 1846 by Gheorghe Roșca Codrianu. Our project aims to have a better energy management in our school and also to become a trendsetter in our region. If we win the Ayet Future Energy Prize, we would like to install photovoltaic solar panel as the main method of generating electrical power and replace the light bulbs with a lighting system based on LDEs. This is the roof where we would like to install solar panels. We were impressed by Sheikh Zayed's generosity and vision upon the future of the world and we would like to honor his great investment in the future of our planet by implementing our project, which would be a groundbreaking achievement for our community, inspiring its members to make a commitment to sustainability. The Abarsa School of Science and Technology in Somaliland aims to expand on already existing sustainability practices by installing solar panels, a wind turbine and collecting rainwater. Barso has been a special school in this area. We're not really like any other school that's been here. You know, we've really broken a long drought of education here that came after the Civil War. If you want the safe future energy price, it is going to cover our basic needs and we will have enough electricity and we will manage our mess and we will have enough water. We're hoping that this prize will not only take us and Abarso to a higher level of energy efficiency, we're hoping that it's actually going to move all of Somaliland that way. It would help the school in many ways. Uh, we've always been tried, tried to be off the grid. If we can make it ourselves here, the much stronger of a school we will be. This prize was to continue the memory of Sheikh Zayed and the way that he was so interested in the environment and sustainability. The Nakata Bay School Authority in Malawi plans to build a renewable energy and agroecology center which will benefit the community through socio-economic and environmental sustainability. At our school we need to have a solar panel which can help us with our education. If our school wins the Zaid Future Energy Prize, we use the funds to construct a school for students to study solar energy, pumping water, and uh, food processing. The school challenges is that they don't have electricity, and that forbids them to study during night time. When the water pump is broken, we face problems because we don't have money to repair that water pump. If this price will be on our side, all of them, they're going to have equal access to education in their classrooms. If we win these solar, solar panels, it will to leading at night. Second time finalist Kalkari Sangeet Vidyalaya from India hopes to create a positive, sustainable impact through the provision of light via solar panels that will illuminate the lives of the students and their families. When we got to know about the prize, we thought that this will be our opportunity to really have the school 100% sustainable. If we win the Zayed Future Energy Prize, we hope that uh, our school will be completely energy self-sufficient, so we will get completely off the grid, power the whole school with solar. We will uh, develop our classroom systems, uh, so we will put a lot of uh, solar panels that uh, we have electricity for 24 hours. We will install biogas in the kitchen, so it is uh, good for the health of the kitchen staff. What we are saving from the electricity bill, uh, we will use that money for the students' house, that uh, we will install uh, solar panels in their house, then their parents will understand about the sustainability and all this. Every single student is kind of an inspirational story for me. Uh, as all our students come from socio-economic difficult backgrounds, for example, there is one girl, none of her family is educated, all of them are illiterate. She's going to college, she's studying science, she might become a doctor and she's able to go wherever she wanted to and she's the first girl of her village who has achieved this. Urbre Agriculture High School from Australia has proposed the Livestock Effluent Energy Production System that will reduce electricity costs, recycle animal waste and reduce school emissions. We have initiated a program here to convert 
wastes into energy. If we were to win this prize, it's going to take us into the realms of experimental investigation with students, taking it much further than what we're able to do. And with our community, particularly with the industry, to demonstrate small-scale production, how it can work for energy production on a farm. This award means that here at Urbray we can teach other people about sustainable environment and different technologies we can use, as well as improve our own environmental sustainability. Tonga High School has plans to install solar panels and energy efficiency measures that could power up to 100% of the school's electricity demand. If we win this prize, we could use that enable us to install a solar panel that will generate electricity. My future plans for this school is that we can better enable teaching and learning by not having to worry about the cost of electricity, the cost of water. If we get this prize, then um, we can use it for solar facilities that will help the school to hopefully reduce the electricity cost so we can allocate that money to better things that can help. Here is this little island in the Pacific and this little school and we are talking about Sheikh Zayed and it just goes to show the extent of his influence in the great work that he has done, not only for the United Arab Emirates but for the world.